Hey, 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 people, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. Good Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? I'm pretty good, thank you for asking. And how was your day? So, so. So, so? Yeah. Okay, it's better than if you say, oh, I had a bad day. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, I'm happy that you, at least it was not bad at all. <laughs> it was like regular average, so, so that's nice. And the rest of you, how was your day? Fine. All right, perfect. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So, so do you have any question? Have you been practicing the platform? No questions. Have you had dinner? Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening, teacher. I have no question. Okay. All right, so uh, we don't have any questions and everything is fine with you. We're going to start with today's class. All right, so let me share my screen. Uh, yesterday we practiced uh, the conversation. So for today, we're going to move on and continue with the next thing. Well, we have this, uh, this is part of the material. And the question is, how do you spend your day? Yesterday we were practicing with the conversation. Um, but and those people were sharing about the daily activities that the way they spend their days. Uh, what about you? How do you spend your days? A volunteer? No work. Working? Working? Studying? And, and besides resting. that, okay, so you work and and then a study and then rest. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Any other volunteer? I spend my days working and playing soccer. Uh, working and playing soccer. What else do you do? I know that we are very busy all the time. We are. Um, we have to work. Eat. Uh, yeah. Enjoy we, it. Enjoy eating. You enjoy your lunch. Maybe you share with your uh, co-workers. Um, I'm working from home, but I try to chat with my co-workers. <laughs> I send emails, I answer the phone, I complete my assignments, I, I try to chat with my um, co-workers, I all check my phone from time to time because <laughs> it is not allowed. Um, what else do I do? Sometimes I have a snacks during yeah. my work hours. <laughs> um, I meet my with a coffee in the afternoon. <laughs> And uh, during the breaks, I sometimes I I do the laundry. <laughs> that is the good thing about working from home. And then I rest. I watch TV for a little while. I prepare dinner. I have dinner, my coffee, and then I have my English lessons with you guys. That is the best part of the day. After that, I upload my videos. And then I go to sleep. You see, I'm working, but I'm doing a lot of things. No me vengan con solo tres cositas. How do you spend your day? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, I'm working in the working. I have a break and drink coffee and talk with my co-worker. And... After the work, I go to that. Uh, I go to play soccer, and then I go to play car. 
Uh, and then I watch TV. And then you English know. classes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I English. Awesome. Ya ve que no solo hacen dos cosas. Awesome job, man. Yeah. Any other volunteer? Uh, Emma, Emma, share with us. I get up um seven a.m. Okay. and I have a position. Um, ¿Cómo se dice después? Ah, como after, after that. that. Uh, often uh, um, I try in the university and I read every day. <laughs> um, I dinner pupusos. Delicious. <laughs> the best I dinner. <laughs> feel, I feel um, tired. And you end up tired. Excellent job. Very good. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Walter? Um, um, I spend my day um, enjoy taking a, a, sh a, a, a shower a lot of time. I like it. And I work in, I work in every day from home. During my break, I try to, I try to, to <laughs> enjoy a good moment with my family. I try to de um, breakfast and and dinner together. Um, after the work, I try to watch in a, a, a soap operas with my wife, and I, <laughs> I enjoy to. Yeah, I enjoy to sleep uh, at midnight watching some operas. I like it. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Thank you for sharing. Only that. <laughs> Another volunteer? Adrián? Adán? Sorry, Adán. Ya le cambié el nombre, perdón. <laughs> Adán? Yes, teacher. Uh, I spend my my day in different uh, different activities. Uh, like the other student, I I spend time in uh, do errands or house activities, uh, clean, uh, wash dish, um, cooking, and do exercise. Uh, read, uh, studying English, uh, do my uh, exercise in, in the platform, and um, any any other activities. Excellent, awesome! Thank you so much for sharing. Another volunteer. Another volunteer. Ya mejor la gallina anda hablando por ahí. Ustedes no quieren hablar, qué barbaridad. Creen que no oigo la gallina que anda por ahí. <laughs> okay, vamos a cambiar tema. Tal vez eso <laughs> sea. Um, all right. Uh, uh, here we have the snapshot. The six worst jobs in the United States. The six worst jobs in the United States. What is worst? Peor. El peor, peor. Ajá, los seis peores. The six worst jobs in the United States. Well, this um, is based on the salaries, stress, numbers of hours, working conditions, and security. Okay, so based on that, the six worst jobs in the United States is uh, to be a fisherman, a taxi driver, a cowboy, a construction worker, a dancer, and a lumberjack. 
Is the vocabulary clear? Está claro el vocabulario. Tienen alguna pregunta? It's clear? Yes, it's clear for me. All right. What do you think about the chart? About what? The chart. The cartelito ese about the chart. About uh, the chart. Uh, I don't know. Uh, in this case, uh, it's related to American people. Mm -hmm. Because the the immigrant Mexican and Central American immigrants uh, they do this this kind of, of war. Yeah, they develop this. Kind I, I of think uh, for they is it is normal. Okay. It, it's normal. It's common, but uh, I don't know. Is is my my idea. Okay, thank you for sharing your opinion. Okay, and, and we have here from bad, worst, and the worst. What do you think yeah. about the way that they have been classified here? Um, do you agree with this? Um, depend of the country teacher in the United States probably is the, the bad uh, uh, the worst jobs but in El Salvador is the way survive is the normal work it's a normal jobs depend on the country okay and what about here in El Salvador what do you think are the the words jobs in El Salvador, if you think um, salary, stress, number of hours, working conditions, and security. For example, uh, referring to a taxi driver, um, I have a, a, a cousin uh, who, uh, who work at the call center in, in English but decide to change a, a another job and decide to to work taxi driver is better you get a lot of money it's a no. good job right now. Uh, yes because I, the I, pandemic no because yes, of the job. pandemic yeah <laughs> they uh yes yeah I think that somehow, um, yeah, working in a call center sometimes is stressful. It depends on the account. Not all the accounts are yeah. bad. <laughs> so mm -hmm. yeah. if you are thinking yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, of working in a call center, do it. Go ahead and do it. If you don't like it, try it another. There are a lot of call centers yeah. here. Uh, but I, I, I am happy for your cousin because, <laughs> yeah, he's making a good money driving a taxi. But it, I think it's a stressful because of the traffic. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. it's dangerous. <laughs> yes, it's dangerous and it's stressful. But for money, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Any other of you guys would like to share your opinion about it? Teacher. Yes. What uh, call center you recommend for mm. to work? I have heard about a lot of them, and um, um, I think that the most it depends on the account because uh, every call center have different accounts. Um, uh, once I was in a, in one of them, <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't like it because um, they it was very stressful. <laughs> People called just because uh, they have complaints and they were complaining, and complaining. And I have um, a lot of um, a lot of friends that have worked for um, telephone, internet, account. Those are the words. Mm, okay. uh, yeah. Internet or telephone accounts, those are the words. This is only complaints and you have to use a lot of tools 
and, and I don't like it. But I think that customer care positions in um, different accounts it can be better, but not for telephone companies. Those are the words. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thank because you. It's, it's like if you work for Tio or Claro here in El Salvador, oh, yeah. do you think that you will receive nice calls? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same in a call center, but there are, it depends on the account. Many people work at the Google account yeah. and they are so happy. There are some accounts that is, is to assist people in playing video games. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And the same call center I was working for before, they had an account about um, a credit cards. And it was chatting, chatting with people, someone who said, hey, I lost my credit card and I want to have it blocked. And you to tell me what are the last transactions that you can see in the system. Yeah. But you just go check and say, okay, your car has been blocked and this and this and that. And then others say, um, I would like to change my PIN number and you assist them and go ahead and change the PIN. But okay. Then other people, the, it depends on the account. But it's I can get, get support. Hmm? It's support, yeah. It's uh -huh. support. Tech it's support yeah. is nice too. If you find a call center with that account on tech support and you're a techie person, you will be happy. <laughs> so okay. it will depend. It depende de la cuenta, no del, del call center como un nombre, ¿verdad? Sino más bien de la cuenta en la que llegue a caer uno. Y como eso, uno puede aplicar y le pueden decir, porque ya, ya me ha pasado que voy para una cosa y de repente, a usted la vamos a poner ahí, ahí como que no quería estar aquí. Pero, pero like, this is one of the advantages. If you don't like it, you can go ahead. If you're not happy, look for another one. Y de repente uno cae en cuentas nice. Yeah. Pero si okay. las que no recomiendo es si le están diciendo que va para una de telefonía o de internet. Eso solo son reclamos. Pagan mal. Enojada. Pagan mal. Es un back to back horrible, horrible, mm. horrible, horrible. En ese tiempo que estuve ahí, una vez. Sí, la verdad es horrible. En la vida, no me mm -hmm. caían llamadas por cinco minutos. Y me escribió el supervisor, estás en ready. Y yo, sí, ¿por qué? Es que no te han caído llamadas en cinco minutos. Sí, pero estoy ready. Ah, ok, disfruta al ratito la llamada. Pero fue la única vez. Pero ahí llamada tras llamada. Y ay, no, y solo gente brava. Es que hasta uno, hasta uno es como yo a veces me falla el internet. Estoy en clase y yo, mire, me está fallando el internet. Necesito que hagan algo. O sea, hasta yo, hasta uno lo hace. Me imagino que la gente que trabaja así se vuelve loca, pues. Uh -huh. Sí, porque realmente, o sea, la gente está molesta, están frustradas, son reclamos, entonces, y sí, no es con uno, no, uno tiene que entender que no es con uno que están molestos, pero uno es el que recibe todo ese griterío, entonces. Lo importante es que el cliente tiene la razón, ¿verdad, Ticho? Uh -huh. Entonces, <risa> ni se les puede decir. <risa> entonces, sí, es es. Pero como les digo, depende de la cuenta en la que uno caiga. Y ya media vez agarren experiencia, se pueden mover. Pedir que los transfieran a otra, siempre en el mismo call center. Pedir transferencia o moverse. Si del plano no les ayudan, moverse. Hay un montón de call centers chiquitos que pagan súper bien y ni son reconocidos. Sí, es solo ya media vez estén en el, en el mambo, ahí se van moviendo. Y hay gente que empieza con poquito inglés. No es necesario a veces ni el 100, sino que les piden el 80. Ah, bueno, y ahí, eh, le, ahí uno aprende el vocabulario que va a usar. Ahí es donde se aprende. Eh. Uh -huh. Porque ya es vocabulario propio de lo que va a estar haciendo y ahí se lo enseñan en el entrenamiento. Así es que... Sí, porque a veces da como temor, teacher, poder obtener un trabajo de eso por la cuestión de que piden un 80% del level of English. Y a veces digo, bueno, ni llego al 50, a veces no, no, no piensa, ¿no? Y tal vez no es necesario saber todo eso. No, ahí lo pulen a uno. Uno se termina de pulir en esos lugares. Y es como que ya estoy en esto y tengo que hacerlo. Entonces, <risa> ahí se van puliendo. So, don't be afraid. Teacher, yo estuve trabajando. Yo Ajá. estuve trabajando en uno, pero fue horrible. <risa> fue horrible. Este, ahí se vendía cable. En los Estados Unidos se trabajaba con la empresa con la empresa, este, quiero ver cómo se llamaba esa empresa, pero era, 
quiero ver. Bueno, pero se vendía cable y se vendía también internet, pero la gente le llamaba a uno y prácticamente le decía, mire, deje de llamarme, por favor, ya me tienen harto, me tienen cansado, borren mi número, saquen mi número de la lista, por favor, háganme su favor. Y yo cada vez que me llamaban así, créanme que me estresó de una manera que salí volando. Sí, se, se oyen historias de terror, pero la cosa es, es, es eso, ¿verdad? Intentar por otro lado, porque se encuentran, de repente uno cae en lugares buenos y, y es como que, ay, this is my happy place. <ríe> y hay gente que no le importa ese estrés y ya lo saben soportar. La, la, lo, lo que más cuesta, siento yo, es desarrollar esa como, ya que le vale a uno, ¿verdad? Es como que, ah, está bravo, me colgó, tiro el teléfono, hasta se curte uno. Yes. Sí, entonces los primeros días son los peores, pero difícil de aguantar, pero ya después se acostumbra. Igual las primeras llamadas a uno le da dolor de panza, el teléfono suena y uno empieza a sudar, pero ya la segunda semana ya se relaja todo eso, se controla. Teacher, perdón. Uh -huh. Yo también, eh, comentarles rápido, yo también eh, ya he trabajado en call center, Fíjense que depende bastante, eh, si le sirve como consejo, si sirve bastante también la actitud con la que nosotros lleguemos. Yeah. Puede que no, no podamos mucho, pero si nosotros vamos creyendo de que lo que sabemos lo tenemos bien aprendido, eso importa bastante a la hora de hacer la entrevista. Y eso ayuda bastante. Uh -huh. Eso ayuda. Es la actitud. Es, es, la, actitud. es la actitud, porque este... Eh, ellos eso es lo que ven, la actitud y la disposición de usted, ¿verdad? Si está dispuesto a echarle ganas y su actitud. Pero si yo llego como, ay, ya me va a dar. Entonces eso sí le afecta a uno y es como eh, lo bota. Otra cosa es eso, lleven en mente que ustedes pueden. Y igual si ustedes quieren aplicar, eh, las preguntas siempre son las mismas. Hasta en internet las puede encontrar uno. que le van a preguntar en un call center? ¿Cómo contestar? Y uno casi que puede pre eh, las 10 más comunes y de esas 10 le van a preguntar. Siete, y usted ya las memorizó. Ya estando ahí metido, aprende el vocabulario propio de lo que va a estar haciendo y con eso se va. Luego uno dice, ay, no le voy a entender, me va a hablar un chino, me va a hablar un du, me va a hablar y no le voy a entender. Igual, la gente llama porque necesita ayuda. Entonces usted eh, le puede decir, I can barely hear you, casi no le entiendo, o le, le oigo lejos. Can you please repeat for me? O can you spell it out for me? O repeat it slowly, eh, repítamelo más despacio o deletrémelo. Y lo tienen que hacer porque si le han llamado es porque necesitan su ayuda. Y si le cuelgan, pues ellos siguen fregados, <ríe> no les van a ayudar. Entonces es, es, es cosa de uno relajar, ese, eh, relajar eso. Uh -huh. So, no worries. Y, igual, ¿verdad? Sí, como les digo, no es porque, ay, ya fracasé en uno, no me gustó, me fue mal, me, me dieron como las mil y una de las que nunca me habían dado en mi vida, por <ríe> verbales, ¿verdad? Eh, no sé, no, vaya a otro lado, y así hay mejores, ¿sí? Uh, es a lot of, uh, es un mundo tan amplio eso. Ah, ok. So, uh, yes. Other uh, jobs in El Salvador that I think is dangerous or bad is police. Oh, yeah. Being a police officer. Yeah. Uh, the salary, I think it's not like, wow, yeah. salary. It can be like. Mm. No, yeah, it's very dangerous. It's dangerous. They have to the, the work conditions also because yeah. they have to work in the street with those uniforms. I don't know how do they do that. They are under the burning sun with wow. this. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. The I don't know. Soldier, soldier, another worst. Yes. Yeah, another worst. I have heard. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I have heard that there's they earn. The minimum salary, is that true? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Less than the minimum. Yeah. Uh, Less. Uh, one year ago. Teacher. Yeah. Yes. 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 The worst employer in salaries, uh, the worst job in the salary is security. Security oh, guard. Yeah, yes. Oh in yeah. The world, the worst. yeah. They earn the minimum. In they my, in work my... 24 hours sometimes yeah. 
yeah. night shift. Yes. They buy, yeah, they buy his clothes, uniform, uniform, and I said, oh. uniform. Yeah, they buy on his uniform. Don't pay so much. Yeah. They have to pay for their own uniform. Yeah, yeah, teacher. For that me, be prohibited. The worst job in the Salvador is security. Okay. Thank you for your opinion. Anybody else? Sí, gallina, I agree with you. Sorry, <laughs> teacher. <laughs> oh, the people to, to work on Fovial. <laughs> A constructor? It's sí, le vamos a poner, una, no, no podemos modificar el, el, el icono del grupo. <laughs> okay, yes, the people who work for, for Fovial. Yes? Teacher, in, how do you say gallina in English? Hen. Hand. Use my hand. <laughs> <laughs> hand. H -E -N. <laughs> yeah, because because hand. here because here on where I live is very hot. Oh really? Want to yeah, here the I think so is thirty thirty one grados centigrade. Right. It's wow. It's 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 really hot. Yeah. I, I'm sorry about that, little hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, police officers, soldiers. Um, you were saying the people who work for uh, MOP, you said? Yeah, Fovial. For Fovial, yes. It's very dangerous, the working conditions. Uh, yeah. Yes. Some of them have been run over. Algunos hasta los atropellan, ¿verdad? Yes, some of them are run over. All right. Uh, so let's move on with the presentation so we can uh, continue discussing about this topic. Uh, here we have a list of this is a word power. You have this exercise on your material. Um, well, what about what you have to do here? Si ya lo imprimieron, that's fine. Es más fácil para ustedes completar este ejercicio. Y si no, pues lo pueden hacer en el cuaderno. In that way, you practice writing as well. Uh, let's see. We have a list of uh, different jobs. Let's practice and repeat. Cashier. 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 Chef. 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 Company director. Company, Company director. director. Dancer. 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 Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Musician. 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 Pilot. 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 Receptionist. Receptionist. Server. 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 Singer. 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 Tour guide. Tour guide. Tour guide. Website designer. Website, Website designer. 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 Yeah. One more time. Cashier. 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 Chef. 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 Company director. Company, Company director. Dancer. 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 Light attendant. Light attendant. Musician. 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 Pilot. 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 Receptionist. 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 Server. 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 Singer. 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 Tour guide. Guide. Website designer. Website designer. Oh. Yes, cashier, teacher. Hmm? Yes, cashier. Ah, okay. Cashier. Cashier. Cajero. Yes, that's it. Cajero or cajera, that's cashier. Teacher, what is server? Uh, server es lo mismo, eh, es una palabra que se puede utilizar para masculino o femenino y es la persona encargada de llevar los alimentos a la mesa en un restaurante. Lo conocemos uh, como... como waitress. Waitress. Ajá, mesero o mesera. La diferencia está Wait. en que conocemos Wait. la palabra mesero es... Waiter. Waiter. Para masculino, waiter. ajá, para masculino waiter. utilizamos waiter. Para femenino waiter. utilizamos 
say waitress 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 ajá uh -huh. waitress y la que podemos usar para ambos géneros independientemente es server es un noun yes es un noun eh, se refiere a un mesero server. o mesera y lo puede utilizar server. así para okay. masculino o femenino server pero <laughs> definido para masculino es waiter femenino waitress para yeah. ambos okay. server ok excelente thank you for your question ok thank you for your question the website designer es un diseñador de sitios web ah. website designer that's a uh, tour guide es un guía turístico That's a tour guide. Uh, musician. 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 Uh -huh. Musico. Musician. Musician. Fly, fly singer. Fly and singer. Fly uh, flight attendant. Es un eh, tripulante de cabina o les conocen como, antes les decían aeromosa, ¿verdad? Aeromoso. Ah, sí, los que andan en el vuelo asistiendo a los pasajeros, pero necesita agua, una almohada. Para... Sí, sí. Se llaman como sobrecargo. Sobrecargo, el día de Singer en music. Singer es un cantante. Uh -huh. Y musician sí. es un músico es que toca algún instrumento o algo así, es musician. La persona que canta, singer. Ok. Ok. Uh, let's repeat and practice pronunciation one more time. Let's go ahead. Cashier. Cashier. Chef. Chef. Company Chef. director. Company director. Dancer. Dancer. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Musician. Musician. Pilot. Pilot. Receptionist. Receptionist. Server. Server. Singer. Singer. Tour guide. Tour guide. Website designer. Website designer. Okay. And here we have this chart or um this like um it's like a map that we have and we have to classify them into these categories office work food service travel industry entertainment business uh, we have some of them already placed under these categories as an example we have office work company director oh. Which other of this one uh, can go uh, under uh, this category? Uh, yeah. oh, website designer. Uh, uh, yes, a website designer. Uh, office work. Uh -huh. uh, Azure is full service. Um, okay, let's go. With Receptionist. Uh, 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 chef. Food service. Food service. Music. Food service. Entertainment, Entertainment business. business. Entertainment business. Pilot. Travel industry. Travel industry. Receptionist. Office, Office worker. worker. Office worker. Singer. Entertainment, Entertainment business. Tour guide. Travel industry. industry. Website designer. Office, Office, Office worker. Office worker. Excellent. Office worker. Now. Next thing that you would have to do is to add two more jobs to each category. Which other two would you add here? Office work. Can you add other two? Like for example? Accounting. Accountant, yes. Accountant is office work. Website designer. Manager. 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 Mm -hmm. An engineer. An engineer, yeah, it can be. Tech support technician. A tech support technician, yes, it's an office work, tech support technician. Mm -hmm. 
let's talk about food service. Delivery. Uh huh. Delivery. Deliveries. Any other for food service? Have you heard Bar about this? Bartender. Oh yeah, barman or bartender. What about this one? I read in the chat. Host. Customer. Host. Yes. 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 Many yeah. restaurants had. Uh, what is cut? The host um, is the person, for example, if you go to La Pizza Hut or any other restaurants, some of them, not all, but uh, some of them have a host. Is the person who is in the entrance and they say, ah, welcome to the restaurant. I will show you the table. Uh-huh. How uh, many? Okay. Uh-huh. Party of how many? Oh, it's how the many first are you person that, that the people found in, uh, when getting the restaurant. Uh -huh, and they welcome the customer. They say, welcome to our restaurant. Uh, how many are there in your table? Oh, 44, how many people? Okay, I show up to your table and somebody else is going to take your order. It's the host. Uh, some hotels also have a host. Teacher. Yes? Singer, que era? A singer es un cantante. Uh -huh. Okay, another four. Es sería en, 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 ter, entertainment. En, yes, entertainment. 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 Now, what about travel industry? What else could we add here in this category? Call center in, in uh, sale of ticket travel yes. account. Yes, uh, call center agent, yes. Yeah. Translator. A translator, yes. Mm -hmm. Good idea. A call center agent, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. what taxi else driver. We... Yeah, a driver, a taxi driver. The uh, aeroplane engineer. Engineer, yes. Teacher, player, player, Antonder, uh, in, in travel industry, or for food service. Mm, it's flight it's attendant, travel, travel industry, travel. yes. Uh -huh. Right, now, what about entertainment business? What would you add in this category? Game player, YouTubers. Oh, YouTubers, yes, they are a trend True. now. TikTokers. TikTokers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. yeah, a YouTuber, a TikToker. Yeah, it's a good business when you have uh, a lot of uh, followers. Followers, yes. I, uh, we need to have some talent, yeah. And they get some money from there, yes. Good ideas. Uh, amazing. Now, moving on, we have the next exercise is part of your material as well. We have to, uh, this speaking activity about work and workplaces. As you can see here in the picture, there are different kinds of people doing different kinds of jobs. And we have three different columns. In the first column, we have the um, occupation. In column B, we have the activities that they perform. And in letter C, we have the workplace for this kind of people. Let us practice pronunciation. Let's repeat. A salesperson. A, salesperson. A chef. A chef. A, chef. A, chef. A flight A chef. attendant. A flight attendant. A carpenter. A flight attendant. A carpenter. A, carpenter. A receptionist. A receptionist. A receptionist. A receptionist. A nurse. A nurse. A nurse. A nurse. 
build houses. Build, build houses. houses. Cares for patients. Cares for patients. For patients. Answers the fun. Answers the fun. Teacher, repeat. Cooks food. Cooks food. Serves passengers. Serves passengers. Sells clothes. Uh, now let's see the workplaces for an airline. For an airline. For an airline. In a restaurant. In a, In a restaurant. restaurant. For a construction company. For a, for a construction, construction company. company. In a hospital. In, In a, a hospital. hospital. In a department store. In, In a department store. In an office. In, In an, an office. office. In Ok, uh, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna palabra que no esté como bien? Luego vamos a volver a practicar pronunciación. Ahorita quiero ver vocabulario. ¿Es, eh, ¿Alguna palabra nueva? Eh, teacher, sorry. <laughs> sorry, uh, how do you pronounce? Uh, Harris for variants o cares? <laughs> cares. 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 For patients. Patients. Patience. 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 I understand uh, when talking about work to referring to the place, a building, uh, and uh, when I talk about job referring to activity, I do. Um, it, I, it is like the opposite. Like, um, okay. well, a job is a noun. El, el, ah. La palabra job es un noun. Eh, no es un verbo, una actividad. Eh, la palabra work tiene ambas funciones. Eh, pero uh -huh. si usted dice um, uh, work, like, like that, es de activity, la acción. Ese es un verbo. El, 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 ajá. Eh, si dice lugar de trabajo, ese es el compound noun, es un nombre compuesto. Ya dice lugar de trabajo, my work place. Uh -huh. okay. Pero eh, eh, la palabra work itself, la palabra work, work, se refiere a la, a, a la actividad. Al, yeah. My job. Uh -huh. so, no. A la acción de hacerlo. Estar uh -huh. trabajando. It, yes. A job is like el noun. No, no es position, verbo. A position. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other question that you may have? No more questions? Okay, go ahead and practice again. Let's repeat, a salesperson. A salesperson. salesperson. A salesperson. A chef. A chef. A, chef. A, chef. A, chef. a flight attendant. A flight, a flight attendant. attendant. A carpenter. A carpenter. A carpenter. A carpenter. Receptionist. A receptionist. receptionist. Nurse. A nurse. A nurse. Builds houses. Builds Build houses. houses. Cares for patients. Cares for patients. Answers the fun. Answers the fun. Cooks food. Cooks food. Cooks food. Cooks food. Cooks food. Serves passengers. Serves passengers. Sells clothes. Sells clothes. For an airline. For an airline. In a restaurant. In a restaurant. For a construction company. For a company. In a hospital. In a, in a hospital. hospital. In a department store. In a department store. In an office. In an office. Okay, so the the what you have to do here is to match. Tienen que ir haciendo un matching de uh, the la profession, activity, and workplace. Like for example, here a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. You're gonna do the same with the rest of the profession. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Le daré unos par de minutos para que vayan como analizando. Si tienen impreso el material, lo pueden ir haciendo ahí. Y si no, pues solo ir como, como viendo cómo va. And then we're gonna check. 
Look at this. Teacher, yes. Could be say, uh, I work in department store. My job is salesperson. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Okay. Combine both words. Yes, and you use them properly. Okay. Okay. okay let's see. A volunteer, you can raise your hand. The, your virtual hand <laughs> um, a volunteer or a chef teacher okay a chef cook food in a rest in a restaurant excellent or smell a flight attendant flight attendants and servers passengers and for an airline. Excellent, Irvin. A carpenter built houses for a construction company. Excellent, thank you so much, Walter. Receptionist uh, answers the phone um, in an office. In an office, very good. And the last one, nurse. Volunteer. Nurse. Nurse, care for patient in a hospital. In a hospital. Okay, very good. Nice job. So I'm gonna stop sharing because uh, we finished this exercise, and we need to check attendance, right? So I'm going to move on and check that, right? Mm, let's see. Let me get ready because oh, it mm. takes a long time. To load. Um, so, do you have any questions so far? No questions? No, teacher. All right. So, we're going to wait for this to load. Do I have to? You cannot minimize Zoom. Ah. It's proper. Okay. Teacher, ya había pasado lista. No. Um, I'm getting ready for that. Ahorita. Solo es que este archivo es mero caprichoso. Nadie está cargando. Okay, I'm almost done. <laughs> <laughs> Almost ready. It's too heavy. I think it's taken like forever. Mm -hmm. And I moved it. All right. I think this is the one. My God, today is April the 8th. Okay, let's start Alejandro Ernesto. A present teacher. Okay, Ana Trinidad. Present. Andrea Stefania. Andrea Estefania. 
Por ahí veo que está, pero quizás tiene problemas con el audio. Carlos Armando. Present teacher. Ok, Claudia Stephanie. Present. Ok, Dinora Estela. Present. Diomesis Tito. Present. Edwin de Jesús. Present teacher. Edwin Fabricio. Present. Emily Jamilet. Present teacher. Emma Tatiana. Present. Sorry. Fátima del Rosario. Present teacher. Irving Norberto. Present. Jaime Romeo. Joana Celina. José Mauricio. Present. Catherine Abigail. Catherine Abigail, no está. Catherine, Catherine, no. All right. María Catalina. Present. Milton Adán. Present. Norma Evelyn. Present teacher. Okeli de Jesús. Present. Oscar David. Osmel Antonio. I'm here, teacher. Reina Carolina. Present, teacher. Rosa Guadalupe. Saraí Beatriz. Present, teacher. Walter Rafael. Present. Jasmine Stephanie. Yasmin is not here. Okay, so we're going to continue. Ter me escucha. Sí? Uh, me marcó la asistencia. Your name? Quiero ver, es que no lo veo cuando tengo el documento enfrente. Andrea Ramos. Andrea, yo creo que sí, creo que sí. Andrea Ramos, sí, sí la marqué. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. También a mi va, teacher. Sí, Oscar. Es que no les oí, pero los, los vi aquí a un ladito en la lista que aparece ahí. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, uh, moving on, we have the video, and this is like a refresher about the uh, yes, no questions, and w uh, in this case, we're going to watch the video about the simple present WH questions, and then we're going to refresh that, um, that topic. Gracias y siempre chequen porque a veces sí no, no veo porque tengo el documento y veo la lista rapidito, pero igual siempre sí, si no escuchan está bien que, que hagan double check. Eh, let's watch this video, let me share the app. Here we go. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use Simple Present. Simple Present WH Questions and Statements. What do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does. Goes, has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you noticed the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. 
For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and thus for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word plus auxiliary plus the subject plus the verb in its base form plus complement plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. There we had the video and I'm going to show you the chart that is included there. So we can discuss it together and make a refresher. So the video is about the simple present WH questions and statements. Remember this. Uh, la semana pasada vimos la WH questions with B y la WH questions with other verbs son las que estamos haciendo un refresh ahorita. Um, Recuérdense, vamos a basarnos en la primera línea porque en la segunda las tenemos en pasado. Se me olvidó quitar esa parte. <ríe> eh, so, nos vamos a ver la primera. Ahí están las estructuras. Ambas estructuras son en presente simple. Ambas estructuras. Solo que tenemos una estructura para las WH questions con el verbo be y hay otra estructura para las WH questions con otros verbos que no sean cero estar. No podemos combinar una cosa con la otra. Son dos estructuras diferentes. Eh, por eso se las he puesto acá para que hagan como esa comparación. Cuando hacemos una WH questions con el verbo be, la estructura nos manda primero la WH word como en la demás. Eh, luego el verbo to be. Eh, colocamos am, is, are dependiendo del subject. Y luego pues el sujeto. No ponemos otro verbo porque el verbo es ser o estar y tampoco utilizamos auxiliar. Este verbo es como él, él es absoluto, se manda solo, no ocupa auxiliar. En cambio, los demás, que son los que tenemos acá, with other verbs, ahí sí usamos un auxiliar. El verbo auxiliar, como, como su nombre lo dice, nos ayuda a expresar tiempo y persona. Aquí no lo necesitamos porque él se conjuga ya en tu primera, segunda, tercera persona. Es diferente para cada persona. Entonces no necesita un auxiliar. Y tampoco otro verbo porque él cumple ambas funciones. O aquí sí no hay donde agregar más ni, ni para perderse. Esto no se combina con esto. Eh, si utilizamos el verbo ser o estar, that's it. Y no auxiliares. En cambio, si son otros verbos, vamos a poner primero la WH word, el auxiliar, son dos. Eh, o sea, es el mismo, ¿verdad? pero lo conjugamos si es a la persona, I, you, we, they, usamos do. Y si es tercera persona singular, usamos dos. Dides para tiempo pasado, no le hagan caso. Ok, WH word. Luego el auxiliar do o das, dependiendo, ¿verdad? Luego colocamos el sujeto y el verbo en su forma base. Uh, the fórmula. La fórmula que usamos, también la vieron ahí en el video, la tienen acá. La fórmula para las WH word in simple present, enfocándonos en simple present eh, con otros verbos, es WH word. Then the auxiliary do or does plus subject plus verb complement in case and finally the question mark. Now, how does it work? También vimos este chart. Eh, aquí más o menos eh, lo que se trata de explicar y de eh, enfocarnos es en la estructura en que también utilizamos el auxiliar do solo con I, you, we, they. Si es tercera persona, utilizamos das. Y vemos aquí las, um, la forma de contestar en oraciones afirmativas 
Recordemos también que eh, el según el video y lo que hemos visto cuando estamos haciendo oraciones afirmativas, en presente simple, eh, para la tercera persona singular, cuando mencionamos una tercera persona singular, vamos a modificar el verbo agregándole S en la mayoría de casos. Pero también tenemos las spelling rules que ya las vimos anteriormente. Eh, y esta variación solo se hace en oración afirmativa, tercera persona singular. No lo hago en preguntas. ¿Por qué? Porque en la pregunta llevo el auxiliar DAS, que como ya mencionamos es una ayuda. ¿En qué ayuda? El auxiliar me está indicando que estamos hablando en tiempo presente en tercera persona singular. Entonces, como ya el auxiliar me está diciendo eso, yo ya no modifico el verbo acá. En cambio, en la oración, sí. En la oración, por regla gramatical, oración afirmativa, se cambia el verbo. Se, se le hace esa modificación. En oración negativa, no hacemos esa modificación tampoco, porque llevamos auxiliar. Cuando hacemos negativas, usamos don't o Doesn't. Doesn't. Ajá, para tercera persona singular es doesn't. Y como ya me están indicando eso, entonces ya no cambio el verbo. Eh, y es lo que estaba acá eh, en este, es lo que nos indica, ¿verdad? Que para I, you, we, they, los verbos van en forma simple. Si es he, she o it en oración afirmativa, tercera persona singular, la mayoría de los verbos toman una S al final. Um, work cambia a words. Eh, si terminan en E, simplemente se le agrega S también, como take, takes. Uh, ahora, cuando terminan en Y y a esa Y le precede una consonante, ¿qué hacíamos? Se le agrega I. Se le agrega I. Ajá. Yes. Se elimina la Y, esto se elimina y se agrega IES. ¿Y qué pasa si hay una vocal antes de la Y como play? Do you remember? Se agrega S. Se agrega S nada más. Uh -huh. Excelente. Si los verbos terminan en CH, SS, X. S. Ajá. Agregamos ES. Perdón. Igual si terminan en O. Eh, pero los verbos irregulares, como el caso de have, no siguen ninguna de esas reglas que hemos mencionado. El verbo have, para la tercera persona singular en oración afirmativa, cambia a has. ¿Verdad? Porque no hay rule. En el siguiente ejercicio es donde ponen esto en práctica, <coughs> llenando esa conversación con esto que hemos visto. Pero eso... Eh, si ustedes gustan, pueden avanzar el fin de semana. No es tarea así calificada, pero tienen viernes, sábado y domingo. Por si quieren practicar lo del cartelito ese y lo revisamos el lunes. Acuérdense de avanzar en la plataforma. Y uh, so we're going to stop here. Hola. It's not class tomorrow. Eh, no, es viernes. Eh, ajá, antes cubríamos viernes los días de porque faltamos lunes o algo, pero ya no se está haciendo así, así es que vamos a estar solo de lunes a jueves, ya no vamos a estar cubriendo viernes clases que hayamos, eh, porque por cuestión de la vacación no tuvimos clase el lunes, antes lo que se hacía es que se tomaba el viernes, pero hoy ya no. Sino que holiday va... is holiday. Hoy <risa> holiday is holiday, y si lo disfrutó, qué chivo, y no vamos a responder. <risa> No hay por qué pagar <risa> consecuencias. Una <risa> duda más, dicha que tengo. Sí, que le probé un minuto más. No, no, no importa. Yo por ustedes. Yo tengo confusión ahí con respecto a, a Simple Present con B. Yo puedo uh, hablar con B en presente utilizando otros verbos adicionales al B. En presente simple. No. ¿Sí? No, sí, ya uso otros verbos como los que mencionó ahí, works, uh, play. ¿Necesario utilizar el auxiliar? Eh, en oraciones negativas y en preguntas, sí. Pero en oración afirmativa no, no necesita el auxiliar. Solo se va con el verbo que es. Ah, ok. Ok. Thank you. Y igual, acuérdense que el do 
es verbo y es auxiliar, tiene ah. ambas funciones. Entonces, por ahí puede ser que haya un poquito de, de confusión a veces con el do, pero, pero sí, eh, en tiempo, por eso se llama simple, eh, no se hace combinación, no, no puedo tener como dos verbos en la misma oración. Eh, en cambio, hay tiempos como el presente continuo, uh -huh. en ese sí se usa el verbo to be, y, y después el, del el, verbo to be va el verbo principal y se le agrega ing al verbo principal. En oraciones eh, simples a veces puede existir dos verbos en ciertos casos, como más que todo con los verbos que expresan como un, senti un sentimiento. En ese caso, por regla gramatical, yo no los puedo poner juntos, sino que los tengo que separar. Algunas veces se separa con el chu y otras veces con el ing. Eh, esto sí me, me tomaría un poquito más de quizás 10 sí. minutos explicárselos. Entonces, hágame el favor, Walter, y recuérdemelo el lunes, porque sí, esto okay, es bien importante lo que usted okay. acaba de preguntar. Ok, I remind you. Excellent, okay, thank you. Uh, any sure. other? Sí. Uh, este, ¿Puede mandar esa lámina que, uh, que vamos a, a hacer en el fin de semana al chat, por favor? Esa está en la presentación de PowerPoint que les mandé el lunes, creo que se las mandé, o martes. En la martes. presentación 2. Y sí, la aplicación que dijo que iba, a, que iba a enviar al WhatsApp el sí. link para descargarlo. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. El nombre le voy a mandar, pero ajá. Por favor. Ahorita se los escribo y, y esa es. Eh, aquí están ustedes. Gracias. Sí. 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 Sí, gracias. Siempre recuérdenme porque a mí se me olvida todo. Menos con Thank you. Good night. Estoy. Ahí está el nombre de la aplicación. En la App Store la pueden okay. eh, buscar. Explorer. Ok. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. I hope that you enjoy your weekend and see you on Monday. Enjoy oh, and be safe. Yeah. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.